to bowl to the left-handed Sipple. Outside off stump and allowed to go through it. Watchful start there by Sipple, which is fair enough. Again, coming off a of Pfeiffer, uh, you certainly would want to have a really good look here today and just see whether this pitch has got a little bit more carry like it did on Friday. Driven through cover. That's a good shot. It's got all the legs to go all the way to the boundary. Looks like it will just beat Annie O'Neill to the rope. You hate those ones. You're so close, but it just... KRO, it just keeps on running. Guided through point. That's a glorious shot from Georgia Vault. Just all about timing. Lent on it, and it raced to the boundary. Um, so, but oh! That one gets to the outside edge and away. Down towards the boundary. Fielder's desperately giving chase. It's slowing, it's slow, but it will just get there. As Vol hits this one uppishly, but safe. Splits the gap and gets the boundary. Opening the shoulders. We're talking about that maybe happening. We think it might be simple. As Vol hits this one uppishly. Shouts of catch it. Great catch. Great diving catch there at mid-off. Vol going down the wicket. Comes down the pitch, strikes it firmly, well hit, gets it through the gap, and it will go all the way to the rope. Short ball in the air and out! Great catch. Catch is taken by Courtney Webb, at backward point. Second wicket down for Queensland. Brave bowler in that. She's not shy of tossing it up there, but that one has been pushed through a lot quicker and runs. played off the back foot for four runs. A boundary to Hinkley, well played, timed beautifully. Driven nicely. Lovely shot. Wonderful shot from Hinkley. Diving effort on the rope. Won't get there. Boundary the result. Driven nicely. Oh, that's out! That's a wonderful throw. Hinkley was almost loping through, thinking she was safe for the single, but a fantastic throw. Direct hit. And straight away. Big shot. Down the ground. Six. Six is the result. Uh, straight down the ground. Harris up oh. is cut just over Mashangway's outstretched fingertips. It will race away for four. Up is one. Safe. And two bounces. Four runs. He lapped it around the previous ball to the fielder. Sipple driving strongly. Gets it past two fielders. And will be rewarded with a boundary. So she's... Been playing the anchor rollers. She said, having to push the ones and twos, she decides to open the shoulders. Harris slashes at this one, gets the edge, racing down to the third man boundary. Four runs. To pounce. Four ball driven straight down the ground. Four six. Peterson over the wicket to Harris. She drives straight down the ground. Powerful shot and beats the two fielders, splits them. Another full toss lapped around the corner. Four more. This will go all the way to the rope. Full ball drop kick down the ground. Six. It's that easy for Laura Harris. She puts it onto the hill. Flutter quicker one. Helped around the corner. Little lap from Laura Harris. And it's going all the way to the rope to bring up her 50 off just 26 deliveries. Flatter ball hit high. This does not have the distance. Penner underneath it. Takes the catch. A vital breakthrough for the South Australians. And Laura Harris is out for 50 off 27 deliveries. And the South Australians are up and about. Well, that is a huge, huge wicket, Bonds. Not just in this game, but in the scheme of the result of this game. As we know, the winner is playing Tasmania next weekend. And Laura Harris has gone. Still out there, though. Or... Oh. And that's hit the that's back. Patty Gibbon! Jeez, I feel like that one was less out than the first one, but well, again. Whew. The breakthrough comes. She played back. I thought it might have been a tad high. Stop, start, and that's, and gone. that's out. Stumped. Stumped. Sorry. Ruth Johnston stumped. Wicket to Wellington. Both Johnston stumped. Both for two. They make up for that drop catch with the wicket straight away. High ball. Will land safe there over mid-wicket. Will it get to the fence? It's Charlotte. And it will bring up the 200 too. 
One ball to go in the 44th over. Ginger comes down the stri the pitch. High ball. Going to be out. Good diving catch down there from Barsby. There's a few more runs in it. Oh, bold. Beautiful. Right through her. Mare on her way. Swinging at that one. She's gone. Bold for five. Played a wonderful game. Parson swings at this. And she'll get runs too. She'll get four of them. Hits Shots. this one high, but nice on the bounce down here towards the mid-wicket boundary. Will go all the way. Four runs. Parson looks at home here. Nine off three. Big swing. There's a fielder there. Is it going overhead? No, it isn't. Annie O'Neill takes the catch. Looks to the skies and says, thank Oof. my mother for that. It was <laughs> <laughs> clean that up a bit. <laughs> Good catch in the end. Always tough to... Uh, to take a catch in the deep, but another wicket, and that's uh, that's all she wrote. That's the last wicket to Patterson. And right on line straight away, leaving it outside the off stump, Patterson, and Patterson opening up with Debro. But it's Nicola Hancock coming from the hospital end now with her right arm fast, and oh, that's got a right genuine through. edge. Genuine edge for a boundary there to Patterson. And that, oh my God! Oh, what a magnificent <laughs> catch. Full ball swung out by Patterson and a fantastic take there. Shorter ball hit in the air and straight oh. to the fielder. Charlie not there at point, just had to wait for it. Shorter ball Very cut good. and beats the field. Hinkley couldn't get a hand on it and it's running all the way to the boundary for four. So quick this surface. Go on, get your cap. You've got to bring it back and show us if you can get away from the alcohol. Work down to fine leg. This might go all the way. It will. It will hit the rope and be a boundary to Debra uh, to Webb. Sorry. They look pretty traditional in their shots and happy to be patient. Short ball work down there again. This might be back-to-back -back boundaries for Courtney Webb. It certainly will be. Just drifting on the leg stump, Charlie Knott. So Grace Parsons into her fifth over. Short and pulled to the leg side. It's going to pierce the two fielders and bring up a boundary for Courtney Webb. Got there. Yep, got in a really good position. Saw it early. It was short. And just did a little touch on it down towards fine leg. Might get more than just a touch. It's going to go all the way for four. Eyeball out into the covers. Out. Nice catch taken there by Johnston. And Webb is on her way. Just got in two minds, played a bit of a full stroke. Once again, John, I've been really impressed with what I've seen from Grace Parsons. Nice shot from Debro. That Just should timing work. it well. That should go before it races away. Gathers pace off the, uh, the outfield and over the boundary. And Debro pulled away. Through backward square down to fine leg. Field is giving it all they can. Ruth Johnston, but can't cut it off. There is no fielder. The nearest person is just behind square leg. Cuts nicely. It's probably going to go to the boundary again next. So it now? It picks up from. against this outfield. And over it goes. So back to back boundaries from Penner. For the Scorpions. More runs Glorious. here. She gets it past Ginger. That'll go to the boundary. Wonderful shot. You called it well, Paul. Glorious there from Penner. Australia lost two more wickets. Don't Bonds. Lovely drive oh, down the ground. Yeah. Beats the dive and will be four to Maddie Penner. Really, the only one is Charlie Knight where. She got close to six and over. Pull ball. Driven down to third. It'll be another boundary. Penner into the 30s. Earlier. And of course you're dancing Driven between the Driven straight down the ground for four. Very nice from Maddie Penner. Such strength in her driving. Play and a miss and appeal. And given out. Well, Maddie Penner wasn't happy about it, but she has to go. Umpire Harry Singh liked it. Yes. 
Big swing and a miss and she's gone. And that could be a crucial wicket. Just the rush of blood to the head. Exciting times. Wellington down the track, lofts over the top. This will be four. Pro South Australian crowd here, obviously. They like the look of that. Troys. Quicker ball, helped around the corner. This is going to race away across the turf here at Karen Rolton over another boundary. She's no slouch to come. Hancock to Barsby. Oh, Good boundary. connection over the top and mid off down to the rope for four. She has to generate the pace. That's oh, a full well toss on that leg six. six. All the way over the rope for six. Amanda Jade Wellington. Short ball pulled. Should it's in the catch. air. Could be caught. Is caught. The wicket comes for Queensland. Swing hard if you get a boundary. Fantastic. Sipple swings hard. Goes That's over the top. The backward point. It's going to roll towards the rope. And it is a four. That's an outstanding call from you, Bonds. And uh, good match awareness from you. Down the track and hit. Straight down the ground. She raises her fist in the air to Gemma, Gemma Barsby and brings up the victory. And the South Australian Scorpions are into the final. Oh, how good, Bonds. What a finish. And a captain's knock there from Gemma Barsby. She's unbeaten on 32 and really steadied the ship when her side needed it.